Hey, welcome guys. Uh, just checking out an alfalfa field here this morning and uh, want to hone in on a few key things today. Uh, first of all, we're uh, week six of scouting out here and uh, I'll give you a little update of where we're at with our weather. Um, next 10 days is looking anywhere from 95 to about 105 degrees. Um, it's going to fluctuate a little bit. So we're getting into some really warm temperatures here and uh, alfalfa loves the heat units. So the only thing in combination with heat units is making sure that it has enough water. If it has enough water and enough heat units, it's gonna grow like crazy. So look at these guys. Um, this is actually our third cutting regrowth. They've done a really good job. This is a new seeding alfalfa field. So it's a little more robust and uh, they're getting their cuttings up a little quicker. So we got about a foot, foot and a half of growth in here already. And uh, they're keeping it watered up and it's loving the sunshine. And a couple things that can help you have really good plant material, really good um, leaf to stem ratio, and also not have your field blooming out. Um, alfalfa will bloom out early if it gets really stressed. So a couple of the factors that lead to it blooming out early are, I would say number one, the sunshine. If it gets really hot outside and the plant gets stressed out, doesn't have enough water, it's gonna bloom out early. Um, a couple other things is nutrient deficiencies. If you have nutrient deficiencies in the plant, if you have low phosphorus, if you have low calcium, um, you know, alfalfa fixes its own nitrogen, so as long as that has a healthy root system, we're good on that. A um, couple other things, uh, boron, um, all of the micronutrients necessary for photosynthesis. If you're missing those things, the plant will grow up really fast, realize that it doesn't have enough nutrients to continue putting vegetative growth and a stressed out plant, any different crop will reproduce early. So you'll start seeing the bloom come early, then you, earlier than you want it to. And you'll end up with you know, a cutting that doesn't have a lot of biomass because you needed to get it down. So keep that in mind. Nutrition and water are the things that are gonna keep your plant from blooming out early and have, you know, phosphorus is huge for leaf development you want really good big leaves on your plants um, that's where you're getting most of your nutrients in alfalfa is in the leaf so keep that in mind as well um, this plant material looks beautiful as you can see it's coming up really nicely it has really nice leaves um, there's pretty I would say zero yellowing in the lower leaves which is impressive um, a lot of times in alfalfa when it gets shaded out or if it's over water or anything like that, you'll see some yellowing. Beautiful color, everything in here. So keep an eye out for that. Also remembering that if you have a plant that's stressed out, you're gonna have insect damage as well. And that's gonna take out your tonnage. That's gonna take out your quality. So with that in mind, stay on the water, stay on your nutrition, uh, be scouting those fields. And uh, just thank you for joining me. Remember guys, if you find these valuable, if you enjoy what we're doing, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, remember, make farming fun again.